Hey everyone, it's DJ here and I wanted to shoot a video to show you all of the content that I've added for May of 2022. And as you know, I try to create a lot of content for you. I hope that you enjoy it this month. It was a lot of fun creating. This was something that I was going to do a month ago, but I was kind of hoping that a product would be ready that I, I think is the perfect way of doing um, 3D puff embroidery. So that's what the deep dive is for this month is 3D puff embroidery, but I'm showing you two different ways to do it. So traditionally we've used um, puff foam and you have to digitize a design specifically for the foam so that it will cut it. And if you've done 3D puff foam in the past, you under you know what I'm talking about. But this new product is by Floriani and I call it um, puff embroidery the Floriani way and this is an amazing product it is um, called high loft dimensional topping and stabilizer and it allows you to create 3d puff foam designs or um, 3d puff foam embroidery without the need to do any special digitizing and so it is you can think of it like Floriani wet and gone but in a batting format so it looks like like um, quilt batting um, and it completely washes away but when you use it and you stitch on top of it it will actually create the 3d puff effect so I'm really excited to show that to you and so in this um, video I'm just gonna go over the different things as you know there's a what's new section so whenever you go to the FTC training tab up at the top you can click on the what's new and it's going to take you to this page and the way that I organize it is that um, I started this in January so that's down here but I'm adding the new content up at the top each time but you can go and you can access all of the previous months so if I want to see what was done in March I can click on that and it's going to go to March 2022 and just to know um, this little button right here, if I click on it, it'll take me back up to the top of the page. So if you scroll down and you need to get back up top, that's the easiest way to do it. So for May of 2022, I have a free um, asset that is a puff foam end cap. And an end cap is something that is needed um, to cut the, um, the foam. And it's usually done at the end of satin stitch columns and so I created this symbol and the symbol you'll be able to just download and grab and use and it's just a really handy thing the other thing that I did is I created a 3d puff foam um, font so this is designed to work with um, foam the 3d foam and it is um, you'll be able to download it you will access it all separately you'll be able to see um, you know kind of how that works as well but it is a 3d puff foam font and then there's a free uh, in the hoop quilt block and there are free designs that um, I've added and the deep dive lesson which is 3d puff embroidery designs I have a tip and trick video that um, shows you how to add a motif on top of puff foam and that's a very unique thing to do I also have a bonus video where I show you how to create an outline for like lettering when you're using 3d puff foam and then in the digitizing with DJ section you'll find that there's a, a lesson on manually digitizing a 3d puff foam letter so I'm going to show you exactly how to use the different tools um, and the things that we learn in the deep dive you're going to see that and you'll be able to digitize it along with me, a 3D puff foam letter. Then I have something new. This is different. I'm calling it quick lesson. It used to be like guided lessons, but for, um, for now I'm going to start calling these quick lessons because they're kind of shorter lessons that you get to open up and, and follow along with me on. And so we have a 3D puff embroidery lettering lesson. And this is where I show you how to use a 3D puff um, font that comes already installed inside of the FTCU software and I show you how to manipulate it or do some slight editing to make sure it works for 3D Puff Foam because it's important to understand that those fonts um, you need to do a little tweaking to each one of them before you use it and so it's not hard 
but I show you how to do that in that lesson. And then I do this little, I have this little free mini project and it's um, where you'll create a 3D puff foam letter onto a freestanding lace background. So it's kind of fun, just a little lesson there. So let me go ahead and just show you a little bit. Um, so what we have here is the deep dive lesson. You're gonna see that when you go to the deep dives, that's located up here. When you go to the FTCU training, deep dives, and you'll find this one called 3D Puff Embroidery. And this is the deep dive for this month. And in this, you're going to learn a few different ways, um, a couple different ways of actually creating 3D Puff designs. So like I mentioned before, there's a brand new product by Floriani that's called um, Floriani High Loft Dimensional Topping and Stabilizer. And so what I'm doing is showing you um, how to use that brand new product. Now it's just hitting the stores. So by the time you see this, it, it'll be starting to hit the Floriani stores really soon. Um, you might want to mention it to your Floriani dealer because if they weren't a part of um, the big dealer show that happened um, a couple weeks ago, then they might not know about this product. And so you might want to tell them about it. It's Floriani High Loft Dimensional Topping and Stabilizer. And so this video, um, by the time you're seeing this, it'll be uploaded here. Um, it's a video just as an introduction, and it's gonna talk to you a little bit about um, this section of the deep dive and how when I originally created it, I only did the 3D puff foam section, but then I, um, once I found out this product was ready, um, I went ahead and shot a deep dive into using this high loft dimensional topping. So you're kind of getting two in one. And you're gonna love this high loft dimensional topping to do your 3D puff designs. It is by far the easiest way to do it because you don't have to do anything special to digitizing for this process, which if you've done puff foam in the past or if you've tried to create your own designs, you know that there are a lot of things you have to do in order to get it to work. And you're gonna learn that in here. I'm actually showing you in this 3D puff foam deep dive exactly everything you have to do to create designs for um, puffy foam. So um, you'll have that deep dive. This is just the easier way to do it. I call it the Floriani way um, of doing puff embroidery. And I think that you're going to love it. So there's a section on what that product is, how to use it, and then how to manipulate designs to work for it. The only thing that you have to do is sometimes change the order in which things stitch. You don't have to change properties of a design, you just have to make sure that the anything that you want to have puffy, that it stitches last in the design, and that's it. So you can use any of the designs you currently own, and which I know that many of you have a lot of them. You don't have to do anything special to it, you just have to make sure that those 3D puff objects stitch last, and that's it. And I show you how to do that in this design creation. And the um, 3D puff um, foam deep dive, I go into all the things you need to know how to do to create 3D puff foam design. So it's it's pretty amazing. You're gonna love the content. If you're interested in 3D puff embroidery and creating designs with it, you're gonna love this deep dive this month. So just other things to show you um, in the tips and tricks, which if you go up to the FTCU training menu and you go to tips, tricks, and bonus videos, um, you'll get to this page here. And you can see that um, I've added a 3D puff embroidery motif, a 3D puff foam letter on a lace background, and a 3D puff foam with an outline. So I did three little bonus videos here, and the 3D puff with a motif is really kind of a unique design because you're gonna, you can kind of see here, I'm showing you how to create a 3D puff um, foam letter and then throwing a motif on top of it. So it's a special way in which you do it, but it's pretty cool. I think you're gonna like that. And then the 3D puff foam with an outline. This is um, just to show you how to create an outline around 3D puff foam designs. And you actually do an outline, you have it stitched first. And so um, I show you how to do that in this lesson. 
And then this one's a lot of fun. This is like what I'm calling a mini lesson here, um, lit mini project. And this is a um, 3D puff foam letter that we put on a lace background. And I don't know if I can get fast forward fat to fat this fabric. so that you can kind of see it. Give me one second. So this is um, the design. This is a 3D puff letter and you'll be able to switch it to whatever letter you want to use. Um, because this is using one of the fonts that comes in the software. So this is just a, a little fun project for you to do. And then we, as you know, we have um, free assets. So free assets are things like um, a font or a motif, things like that. So, and for May of 2022, there is a 3D puff end cap. This is made for 3D puff foam. And it's one of those end caps. I think I talked about it a minute ago, but it's a symbol that opens right up into the software and you'll be able to utilize that symbol um, once you install it. And it's a really cool, um, good way of actually working with the symbol. Um, and to have that in cap, it just makes it easy. Then we have a 3D puff um, font. This is made for 3D puff foam. And it's just a block font that I digitized and you'll be able to download that and you'll be able to use it as well. So you'll want to make sure you watch the videos on how to utilize those. And But this um, video will help you learn how to install the, the Puff Foam in cap and then you're going to have that font as well. So that is the free assets and we also have um, a block of the month. So that's access once you log in, go to my resources and block of the month. And or always on that what's new page, you have these links right here. So like the block of the month, you can click on it. So if I go over to the block of the month page, um, again, that's under the my resources block of the month. You'll see for May, we have a flip and fold block in the hoop. So this is going to be kind of using the more traditional way of doing quilt blocks where you stitch, you're going to be stitching line, flipping and folding the fabric over and then stitching on top of it. So it's going to create that fold look. So I think you'll enjoy that lesson. And we're just going to be working with a block like you see here. And um, last but not least, we do have the free designs. So free designs, um, I need to go to that page here. I just downloaded it. Um, let's go over here to the free design. So under my resources, you'll want to go down to free designs and click on that. So these are um, arranged as you see here, January, February, March, April, and May. So if I come over here and click on May 2022, it's going to scroll down and you're going to see that these are the designs that I've digitized and made available to you and you can click this button right here and it'll download all of them. When it downloads, you'll get the design file in the WAF format. You'll get a PDF that actually, you know, shows you the color sequences and if it's applique, you'll have, you know, let you know when to do a placement stitch and a tack down stitch, all of that. So these designs, um, there are a few that have a little bit of personalization you can do like a monogram you see these flip flops are like applique with some embroidery and has a little uh, monogram here. This uh, turtle has a monogram that you'll be able to change that letter. And then we just have a few other designs here. These might look a little bit like they don't have um, dense enough of stitches, but this is using that satin repeat tool. So you'll be able to use that satin repeat tool with this. Um, with these two flowers. So it'll give a really nice kind of hand embroidery look. This one was kind of a fun one here. This is just a black and white design. and uh, But it's using a unique type of a wave fill in this. So it'll add a little bit of dimension to the design. Then we have an anchor monogram here and then an applique turtle. So those are the free designs. Um, this one's applique as well. And some free designs that are available to you. You can just download them here. And again, you get to that by once you log in, I'm going to go ahead and hit this arrow to go up to the top in the bottom, right? You go to my resources and free designs and those that's where you'll find those. Or if you're on the what's new page, 
Um, again, that's when you log in, you go to FTCU training and what's new. And under the May 2022, you'll see the free designs that you can click to download. And it will have it all in a zip file for you. So that is the content that has been added for May of 2022. I hope that you enjoy it. I hope that you will take time to go through these, um, look at the lessons and the videos and the free designs and the block of the month. Um, really try to give you as much content as I possibly can each month. I hope that you enjoy it and that you appreciate all of the um, content that you get monthly. And I look forward to seeing what you create. Please make sure to share anything on the FTCU Masterclass Facebook group, and I will see you inside.